What's good, gang? Hope this video finds you in good health. It's your boy Cameron in the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like, subscribe if you're brand new. And let's hop into the video, man. So today is a very important video, bro. This is what I need y'all to understand, and I need you to understand this urgently, immediately, bro. Most of these YouTubers that be trying to give you advice on self-improvement, dating, all this type of stuff, do not really care about you. They do not really care about helping people. They just want to get their bread from you and dip. They are not actually interested in it. Most of these dudes are soulless and they're giving you soulless advice. That's why you look online, you look up how to talk to girls and they're telling you how to basically be a whole degenerate. They're not actually telling you how to level up your life. They're not actually telling you how to really tap in with yourself and to really, you know, get right with your morals, how to really be a masculine man. They're just telling you how to basically be a female hoe. You, they, they teaching you how to be a male hoe, bro. They teaching you how to be just like all these girls that they be claiming not to date. They teaching you just how to be just as promiscuous. But it's crazy because deep down, they really want your money. They That's all they want from you. That's all they care about. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be selling you all these courses for all this type of money, bro. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using Hamza as an example. But when I say Hamza, I'm not just talking about Hamza. I'm only using him as an example because he's the most recent case. But I'm talking about the entire self-improvement community that does this, bro. All of this stuff is a scam. And most of these dudes have already sold their soul, bro. Listen to me. I'm not lying to y'all when I tell y'all this. This is extremely serious. Because y'all keep listening to these dudes that sold their soul for money. And the more you keep listening to them, the more you're going to become like them. And what you're going to find is that you're going to regret being like them and buying all these courses and stuff like that, bro. Check this out. I recently came across a post from Hamza, right? And he was talking about how he had his, you know, little university and stuff like that. Now, understand this. I have no problem with people charge for content. I understand if you provide a value and you want to charge for it, go ahead. But understand this as well. Knowledge is free. So when you charging this, this, this man talking about $500 to get into his university and then $100 a month for stuff that you can get for free online or if you were gonna pay for it, it's very, very cheap. Please tell me that y'all not out here buying $500 courses, $100 a month courses. And it's not just Hobbs, it's all these self-improvement dudes. They always got a university, a course, a class, and they got you paying hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars for advice that you can get for free on the internet, bro. You can get it for free on the internet. All these courses and stuff like that is basically the only means. It's the OF of the self-improvement community, bro. The OF, you can literally watch the hub for free. But instead of watching the hub for free, you got down bad dudes that 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 pay to watch corn. They paying to see the specific models. They paying OF. It's the same thing when you buy these courses. You can get all the exact same information that you need. Or even if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can go find that ish for way, way cheaper than $500. You can find that ish for like $20, $30. You might even be able to find it for free if you got a good homie, a good friend. But they want you to pay $500 for their professional advice. I understand going to somebody for a professional something, right? For example, if you got something in the house that is broken and you don't know how to fix it, then you can pay somebody to do it. But this is what you have to understand, right? It's different. Because sure, you can learn how to fix something in the house, but it would take you, it would take up too much time and too much energy. But here's the problem. It's going to take you the same amount of time to learn from free self-improvement advice as it's going to take you to learn from paid self-improvement advice. The only difference is going to be is you're going to be $500 uh, uh, out of pocket, bro. You're going to be out of pocket your money. And it's not even guaranteed to be good advice or to work. And the reason why is because y'all just as down bad. These influencers is brainwashing you to be just like them. They brainwashing you to 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 to, to buy their course. You 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 worship them. You worship them like they a god. You worship them like they Jesus and they walk in on water. Whole time they just a regular dude that just wanna scam you for your money. Wanna scam you for your money, bro. That's what all these courses are. All the knowledge you need is free. What is on not what Google, bro? You don't have to go to the library and find nothing no more. You could Google whatever you need. Money problems, girl problems, all that. You can Google it for free. You can watch a YouTube video for free. I, I ain't got no courses. You can watch all my videos for free, my boy. I ain't charging no hundred, two hundred, five hundred dollars just for you to have a course with the same material that's online for free. And again, I ain't got no problem with charging, but when you already have made content that's teaching people how to do something and then you want to charge for it and say that it's special, special or whatever, oh, you're going to get ahead with this. That's manipulative, especially knowing the self-improvement community. Uh, Y'all are in a vulnerable position to where you are admitting that you need to improve your life you're in a vulnerable position a lot of y'all is probably teenagers probably in high school maybe college maybe a little bit older but you're in a vulnerable state so when they try to sell they all these dudes is salesmen bro they manipulative salesmen 
And all they telling you is, oh, come here for better advice. Come here for better advice. Whole time, it's the same stuff that you could find for free. Because here's the thing about advice. The good, the best advice, the best advice is not advice that's just going to tell you what it is, bro. You want to know why this is so scammy, why this is so scummy when, when, when Hamza and all these other, you know, Top G, all they got the Hustlers University. The only thing they're hustling is you, bro. Only thing they're hustling at a Hustlers University is you. For real. You know what I'm saying? So... The reason why all this is so scammy and the reason why it's so important for you to understand why you should not buy these courses and why self-improvement really comes from within. It comes from you. It comes from God. It comes from things that you do not have to pay for whatsoever. Understand this. This is how God works. And this is going to be roundabout. But just bear with me for a second. Just listen to me for a second. Be, really understand what I'm about to say to you. This is how God works. When you pray and you ask God for something. He's not just going to give it to you directly. You want to know why? Because if he just tells you, okay, do this, 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 and this in order to be successful, then you're never going to be able to replicate it. You're never. So let's say you ask God for joy. If he just gives you joy immediately, that's a gift. Great. But you don't know how to replicate joy. So you're going to have it for a split fleeting moment and then it's going to be gone. Then you're going to be angry at God talking about, God, I thought you, I thought you, to, uh, uh, I thought you was going to give me joy. No, he's going to put you in a position to where you can work up to having joy he's going to put it on you so that you can not only appreciate it but learn how to replicate it so that you can have that skill forever so that you can have joy forever he'll give you what you really want it's almost like imagine i sat here and gave you a hundred thousand dollars i give you a hundred thousand dollars but i don't tell you how to make more money you're gonna lose all that money eventually right you're gonna lose all that money i didn't teach you how to invest in no stocks i didn't teach you how to start no business i didn't teach you to to, to, to save i didn't teach you none of that you're going to lose that. Unless you learn what it is that you have to do, then you're always going to lose whatever the gift is. Why is this important? Because in these courses, they claim, oh, I'm giving you more detailed advice. I'm giving you better advice. But the thing is, bro, all the advice on YouTube is enough because it's going to do what? Point you in the right direction. It's going to set you on the right path. All this paid advice where they give you specific things to do, you're going to just get it and then you're going to lose it. Let me ask you a serious question. You think all these self-improvement YouTubers, you think Hamza and all them, you think they was buying courses on they self-improve? You think me, me, you think I bought a course to learn all this? I ain't buy no course. Maybe, you know, other people have read books and stuff like that. Maybe we done read books, done some free research, but we ain't never bought no hundred dollar, thousand dollar course. We ain't doing that. Why is this important though? Cam, why are you talking about this? Because it's important to your self-improvement. The best way to self-improve is for you to use your critical thinking skills. That is one of the most key important parts of self-improvement. And no one will ever talk about it because as soon as they do, then they, you won't need them no more. But I don't care. I'm going to talk about it. Critical thinking skills. You have to stop idolizing these people that you watch and stuff like that and take what they say with a grain of salt. Or not take what they say with a grain of salt. But bro, understand that they all salesmen, that they out to get something from you. Especially when they selling score, uh, courses like this. You use critical thinking. You just sit back and think for a second. You can bypass all your desires. You can bypass all the troubles in your life. For example, let's say that you on no fat. You on no fat, right? And so if you use critical thinking skills when you feel tempted to do something, think, dang, well, if I wake up tomorrow, I know I'm going to feel like but. I know I'm going to feel like butt cheeks if I wake up tomorrow, if I beat my beat my uh, my sausage right now. I know for a fact that it's not going to be worth it. Hmm. Let me use my critical thinking skills. Let me not do it. Let me not do it. Critical thinking skills is really all you need. <coughs> girl problems, right? OK, this girl, she's starting to pull back from me. It seems like she's starting to lose interest. Hmm. Instead of me doing what I'm continuing to do, instead of me pressing and keep trying to get at her and stuff like that. What if I step back a little bit? Maybe she wants a little bit of space. Because logically, if somebody is stepping back from you, maybe that means that they want a little bit of space from me. Critical thinking skills. It's very, very easy to pick up on things. How you think I got so good at self-improvement? How you think I'm able to sit here and spit game and knowledge to y'all for, uh, for, for minutes on minutes, bro? I'm going to be honest. I ain't never read no self-improvement book. I ain't read no rational mail. I ain't none, none of that. All I have is life experience and I've read the Bible. That's all I have. Yet here I am changing people's lives. Thank God I'm out here changing people's lives with wisdom. How? Because I've been through stuff and I know how to critically think. I think. I think and then I act. That's all you need. You don't need to pay $500, $1,000, none of that, bro. None of that. 
All that stuff is a scam. All that stuff is a waste of your time. Don't be a down bad simp that idolizes these 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 dudes. Don't be idolizing these dudes. Paying your hard earned money for something that you could get for free online. For free. They've already made videos talking about what they talking about in these. Bro, I'm telling you. Well, Cam, I'm gonna learn how to. Well, well, well. Hustlers University teaches me how to make a, a great business. Da, 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 da. You know how many businessmen didn't need to buy a course? A course does not guarantee your success. Just because you pay for something doesn't mean that it's higher quality. Sure, it can help you. Look, understand this. I'm not saying that the, that the stuff in these courses is not valuable. I'm sure it's extremely valuable. I'm sure you might learn something. But all I'm saying is that you can find the same thing for way cheaper or for way freer. That's all I'm saying. Knowledge is free. Things are out there. All you have to do is, if you really want to be successful, replicate what they do. Don't buy their course. Replicate what they do. Move how they move. Stalk their Instagram. That would give you more value than buying they they they, they the course that they scamming you with. I understand everybody got to eat. Everybody got got to get their bread. When they are using these manipulation tactics, oh, you're gonna be far ahead of everybody else, and they just giving you the same service. Man, it's time for y'all to wake up and stop being brainwashed. For real. Stop being brainwashed. Understand this, dog. Understand this. At the end of the day, I remember I was watching that video on Hamza and when he was talking about his university or whatever the case may be. And he was talking, it was a video where he was talking about the most important things in his life. And he gave his list. And on his list, it was work and then family and then whatever else. Bottom line is work was at the beginning. But what do you get from work? You get money, AKA this man loves money. Cause what? You love your family. So if money is more important than your family, that means that you love money. But in the Bible, what do we know? We, we know that from the Bible, it says money or not money. The love of money is the root of all evil. When you love money, and that's the most important thing to you. You will do things. You will backstab friends, backstab family members. You will do things that are not godly, that are not moral in order to gain money. And that's the problem. Too many of y'all are buying into that mindset because that's what these guys are telling you to do. These guys really sold their soul. Hamza sold his soul. If money is the most important to, a thing to him, he's selling out for money. He's selling you a course that you could get for free online. That's the most important thing to him. He talks about how wealth and building wealth is the most important thing to him, right? That means that he sold his soul for money, literally. It's just like these rappers. When they give up their morals, they give up, you know, actually doing good for the community for money. He sold his soul. What, what's Illuminati say? He sold his soul. He sold his soul. He sold his soul. These dudes sold they soul, bro. And you listening to them. Understand that if you buy their course, if you keep listening to these dudes, you're going to become just like them. Ask yourself, do you really want to become like these guys? And on the surface level, you're going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want the cars. I want the money. But little do you know that they have a whole lot of stuff going on in the background. Understand the top G was already rich before he started doing this, bro. Understand that most of these guys never bought courses. And you want to be more like them. Oh, Cam, I want to have the cars. I want to have the women. I want to have the respect. You can get all that without being scammed. You can get all that without selling your soul. But really look at it. Really look at the things that they're telling you to do. If money is the most important thing to these guys, chasing a bag is the most important thing to you. And I'm going to leave it off like this. And this is how I'm going to leave it off. I want you to think about this. And this is if money is the most important thing to you. And it is to these guys. And this is how I'm going to leave it off, bro. I'm going to ask you this question. Or I'm going to put you in this scenario. Imagine you have all the money in the world. You have all the money you've ever wanted. All the money that you've ever needed. But you have no close family. You have no friends. You don't have a wife. Because you gave all that stuff up so that you can earn more money. Because you were at work all the time. All day, every day. And now you have all the money in the world. But no one to share it with. What value does that money have now? What value does the car and the helicopter that you bought and the big house have now? If you're the only one in it. With the Instagram likes? Is that what you do it for? On some real ish, bro. Be honest with yourself. You doing it for the Instagram likes? 
oh well well Kim if I have money then I'll attract more women none of them women actually like you they just gold digging who wants to live a life to where they chased money so much that they never developed their personality now all they got is girls surrounding them that want to gold dig they just want to gold dig on you they don't really actually like you for you not saying that it's a bad thing to get rich. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to get money. Money is an important thing. Even the Bible says that money can be used as protection. But when that's the only thing you care about, when that's the thing that you put first, like these guys, and that's who you want to become like, that's who you buying courses from, it's going to be a very sad ending for you, bro. Who wants to get money alone? Nobody. Nobody. It's a whole lot of rich folk out there that feel alone. Just as alone as you. And they looking for answers. That's all I got for y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Peace.